Okay, so when I did my um, DOS pro DOS how to play DOS games in Windows 10 video, I got a request on a comment to show a tutorial of how to set up Daggerfall. So you can, uh, if you didn't know, you can actually download Daggerfall for free now from the Scrolls.com. There are some additional setup steps to go to it though. So here, it, when you download it and you extract it. You get a folder called Dagger, a folder called DFCD, and a folder called Dagger Legal and Installation. And when you initially extract it, it comes in this DF install folder, but I went through this once and I think uh, trying to run out DF install caused a problem because DOS, as you know, is limited to eight characters and this is more than eight characters, so I took everything out of there and then I pasted it just in the regular. De uh, uh, DOS products, you know, so Dagger, DFCD are now in my just DOS base folder, so we'll see if that works better. Let's see if it'll run. So, me, uh, oops, uh, where is that PDF? Alright, so here's the directions. So it says first, uh, you have to, uh, change your memory size right here in uh, DOSBox. So how you do that, go to your DOSBox folder where you've installed it and you click uh, the uh, manual right there. Or I mean options, options not that. And it says change mem size, so look for something called mem size. Shouldn't be too far down. And right there we have mem size. By default it's 16. I already changed mine to 32. But this is right where you just type uh, 32 if it's anything else. So we got that done. Close that out. Then we'll launch DOSBox here. And it's got some more um, directions. So we'll just follow the uh, directions. Let me scroll down to where we pick up. So we yeah, have mount, let me get it back, mount C, I'm just following the directions here, and we're mounting our C drive right now, it says mount C, C, to make sure, they use the example of DOS games, I have mine in DOS progs, as it's given an example in DOS box when you set it up, so make sure you grab the right folder, that might have been, oh you know what, that might have been why in my, uh, Last thing didn't work, but let's see if this one works. We'll just start over real quick. Doesn't take very long. And uh, it says free size 1000. And we got mount a CD ROM drive mount D C colon backslash DOS progs uh, slash. DF CD slash T CD ROM slash label dagger oops dagger fall. Let's make sure I type that right. Yep, yep, let's show. So it says it's mounted with limited support now. Uh, it says once there are two locations, press D to install. So now we're in installation, and yes, I agree. Install the game from my hard drive, and you want to do change install size according to the directions. Do huge installation. Click yes, and you want to do it there. Go ahead and install the game. So then it's going to install the game. This will take a couple minutes, but not too long. All right, are you ready to set up your sound cord? Yes. I want to do auto detect. Detect. Yes. And then this, I believe. Um,
Okay, then it sort of detected it fine. So I'll click OK and we'll do select MIDI. Here it says select sound bass 16 and 338. Okay, and then it says click OK twice, go back to installation. Installation is complete, so we'll click enter. Okay, and so this is how the algo so I have to run the game, type these two lines, okay. But first now it says we gotta run a program. Um oh, let me get my mouse back so I can scroll down the directions. Uh, it says first now we gotta run a um, program called DAG213 to do a patch. Then it says this program will upgrade Daggerfall to version 1.0, blah blah blah. So yes. Then it says Chrono Fix Pro to create town names in the world. Yes, sure. Then it says update successful. Type dagger to start the game. So type dagger. Dagger falls now loading. Please wait. And looks like it's running. Click start new game. I have no idea. Oops, sorry for my chair. I have no idea how to play this game. Um, maybe, uh, you know, actually, a Skyrim. I like Skyrim, uh, the game. My Arrowwind, I believe I remember having more interesting land features, though. You know, but I'm just going to select Skyrim and see what happens. The North Hill from the province of Skyrim, you are a part of a tall and fair skinned people, strong, willful, and hardy. Owing to the climate of Skyrim, Nords are resistant to the coldest of temperatures and take little damage even from ice based magical attacks. Nords are historically well suited. Oh, so it actually tells you a little bit too about Merowind. North Hill from the province of Merowind, you are a part of a tall, dark skinned people known to be extremely strong, intelligent, and quick. They are extremely versatile in all manners of skills and well known as warriors and mages. Hmm. Yeah, why don't. Well, actually, no, I'm curious to see if Skyrim looks anything like the one. Explosive uh, Tail plays a male. What would you like to do? Choose one of those possible classes to play. You can also create your own class. Answering 10 questions. Most compatible with you. Let's try that. Your mother sends you to the market with a list of goods to buy. After you finish, you find that by mistake, a shopkeeper has given you too much money back in exchange. What do you do? Return to the store and give the shopkeeper his hard-earned money next to mistake. Pocket extra money knowing that shopkeepers maybe page down. I don't know how to scroll down. Well, that's our... Oh, there we go. It's the arrows. Pocket extra money knowing that shopkeepers decide to put the extra money to good use and purchase items that help your family. Yeah, <laughs> just for a grin. It's not to actually be what I do in real life, but I'll do that because it's a game. Your arm master is relating the story of a great king he knew in a faraway land and whose inventors created a wondrous balloon of such size it would transport dozens of people through the air to any place they choose. If you were this king, he asked you, how would you use this remarkable balloon? Explore regions previously impossible or extremely dangerous to visit. Keep it in secret. Surprise attacks are in defense of time war. Commission the venture to create dozens of these balloons in hopes of making travel system across the round that will speed of transportation. I'll go with that one. You and your best friend buy your force daggers together, a mashed pair. You loan him the amount since he doesn't have enough gold and he agrees to pay you back later. After leaving the shop, you and he sit down to marvel at your new weapons. To your dismay, you notice that there is a small notch on the blade of the dagger you selected. Your friend asks you to please watch his weapon for him while he runs an errand. Do you wait for your friend's return to point out the flaw in your dagger and return to the weapon shop to demand a refund? Switch the daggers, rationalize that you, since you paid for them, you should get the first choice. And <clears throat> what if your friend ever notices the notch, you could always take him back to the weapon shop and get a refund. Keep his dagger safe until his return and switch the daggers with your best friend's knowledge, just fighting it with the fact. Well, the shopkeeper ripped me off in the first place. Well, in the town of 
The baker gives you a sweet roll, delighted you take it into an alley to enjoy, only to be intercepted by a gang of three other kids your age. The leader demands a sweet roll, or else he and his friends will beat you and take it. Do you drop the sweet roll and step on it, then get ready for a fight? Give him the sweet roll now without argument, knowing that later this afternoon you will have all your friends with you and you can come take whatever he owes you. Act like you're going to give him the sweet roll, but at last minute throw it in the air, hoping he'll pay attention long enough for you to get a <coughs> shot in on the leader. Strategically, I'll <laughs> Entering town, you find that you are a witness to a very well-dressed man running from a crowd. He screams to you for help. The crowd behind him seems very angry. You rush to the man's aid. Despite your lack of knowledge, experiences rush to the town's aid immediately. Despite your lack of knowledge, experiences. Stay inside and allow the man and mob to pass. Realizing that's probably best not to be involved. I'll go <laughs> Othisa, a friend, has been beaten by a boy several years older than either you or her. She asks for your help. <clears throat> Are you more inclined to gather a bunch of friends together and ambush the boy, teaching him a lesson? Tell Othisa, avoid the bully. No reason to make things worse than they are. Challenge the boy, knowing that he will probably take a beating, but confident that you will do enough times. He will pick on someone who is your target. I think we'll uh, do A. <laughs> Your arms master during a lesson on strategy remarks the best victory is to completely and totally humiliate your opponent. He then turns to you and asks you if you agree with him. You know the arm master has been in numerous life and death conflicts and has the experience of a seasoned warrior. Do you agree with his remark knowing that at this moment your experience is not enough to just by any stance but total agreement with whatever Armas says a man who has dedicated his life to strategy disagree with this remark reasoning that it must be some type of test and that he'll the truth will only come from opposition of his opinion and not sheep like me. Refuse to answer the question, choosing to withhold your opinion until you have more experience and converts him on the social and intelligent manner with him. Um I like persuasion. Do you see? A good friend of yours is in love with a girl from a neighboring village, a girl who Barely knows him. He is extremely shy and inexperienced, and he pleads for your help. We says he go to her immediately and declare his love. If the relationship is to be, he needs to be honest from the start. You offer to accompany him to the village for sport. Find out more about this girl using any contact he can find her in her village. He will not be so shy if he knows something about her and may even find out she's not the right girl for him. Let you help him write anonymous love letters and poems to see her reaction without. Need to face her directly. Nah, I think I'll go with B. <laughs> While in the marketplace, you witness a thief cut a nurse from a, a cut a purse from a noble. Even as he does so, the noble notices and calls for city guards. In his haste to get away, the thief drops the purse near you. Surprisingly, no one seems to notice the bag of coins at your feet. Do you pick up the bag and pocket it, knowing that the extra? Windfall will help your family in times of trouble. Pick up the bag and signal to the guard, knowing that the only thing to do is return the money to the rightful owner. Leave the bag there, knowing that they're not to get involved. Mm. Yeah, for the game's sake, I'll go to A. Your mother is terribly ill, and you have been sent with a few gold pieces to buy some rare medicinal herbs for her. As you reach the door to the Apothecaries, you realize there is a hole in your purse and all the gold has fallen out. Do you enter the store, tell Apothecary your dilemma, and promise on your honor to pay him back for the herbs your mother is supposed to need? Sorry about the chair noise. Tent to steal the herbs from the Apothecaries. You know the old man who works the store and will not be able to catch you. Your mother lies sick. Run back home and admit to the loss, hoping that your father will have more gold. You know you'll be punished. But you'll be neither. Uh, B sounds. <laughs> Night blades use their magic abilities as an aid to subterfuge. The night blade is often like a thief with the capability to use magic. The skills most important to a night blade are illusion, stealth, dodging, thaumaturgy, I don't know, short blade, and lock picking. Do you wish your character to be a night blade? That actually sounds interesting. Yes. Would you like to fast start by automatically generating your character's background? You'll be able to adjust starting attributes and skills within the character sheet. Choose your career path by answering 12 important career. Ah, I don't want to ask more questions. Let's fast track. Commoners unchanged, merchants unchanged, scholars higher unchanged. Okay, it's not good to me. Name yourself. 
Randall. Choose your face. That looks like a good face. And see what I got. Strength 50, intelligence 63. Yeah, those look like nah, good. So I'll just click OK. Looks like. Yo, oh, I got bonus points. Oh, I got 10. So perception, speed, luck, willpower. Uh, to a thief, I think probably speed would be important. Maybe perception too. Well, you know, they like to steal stuff. Um, so endurance might be good to carry stuff, but I don't plan to play this through. I just want to make sure it works for my tutorial. Uh, add bonus points. I like to lock. Well, stealth is good. Oh, no, I, uh, so I can, there we go, or stealth, yeah, do stealth, so I can sneak. Uh, I think I'll do lock picking, I like to pick locks. I'll take a couple of them down and get it to short blade so I can fight too. And alteration, critical strike, merchantile, merchantile, I can probably get better prices, we'll add some points there. Uh, Backstabbing, I don't know. I think destruction. I like destruction spells. We'll add some points there. Player reflexes determine the overall average, the overall speed of the game. If you pick very high reflexes, the monster will move and attack quickly, forcing you to be quick with the control. Very low reflexes mean the monster will move and attack slowly, allowing you to adopt a more cautious, thoughtful play style. Your character will advance a little slower with the lower reflex saying will advance a little fast. I'll just do average. So, four hundred years after Tiber Septim's reign, the beginning will meet the end, and the bloody circle will close in the Empire of Camriel. The unworthy heirs of the Septim Dynasty have allowed the bonds of the Empire to weaken and crack. Muriel Septim, the seventh, cannot repair what his ancestors ignored. The provinces fight among themselves like neglected children, drunk with rebellion, and one indomitable power hides itself, but not forever. Excuse the gloom, but none may know of this meeting. The nature of my trouble is darker still. Over a year ago, King Lysandus of Daggerfall died honorably on the field of battle. He was as loyal a subject, ally, and friend as you are. I did grieve for him, but his spirit does not rest. So here we have With a spectral army, he haunts his former kingdom, uh, crying okay. for revenge. Back in this time, these, uh, I do not know why a good and loyal man would be so cursed. Perhaps you can find the answer and close the marble drawers of oblivion, bringing peace to his soul. I ask this as your emperor and your friend. I have one lesser request. Several years ago, I wrote a letter to the queen of Daggerfall. It never arrived. The letter was of a sentimental and personal nature. If you find and destroy that letter, I will be grateful. Now, my champion, rest well this night, for tomorrow you sail for the kingdom of Daggerfall. Also, there's our backstory.
I guess. You wake and look around the room. Some hours ago, you were in a boat en route to Dagger Fall when a storm with supernatural strength boiled over the Iliac Bay like a malefic creature. Your boat was destroyed, but you managed to swim through the charming, oh, turning water to a promontory rock. Kind of hard to read this. So I should do it full screen. There you. There you found a cave and escaped the fury of the storm. You had only just lit a small fire when a mudslide sealed you within. Your fear of being buried alive calmed when you saw the corridor leading out of the cavern. Perhaps there's a way out of this cave after all. Once free of the cave, you can begin the first quest. The Alice Rose Fall has a tutorial that can be active during the game. It runs throughout the first dungeon for a short time Yes, but I have no idea what this game is about. The very first thing you want to do is experiment with moving your character around. Don't worry about monsters. There are none in the first room. When this text clears, move the cursor around on the screen. You will see it change shape. Hold down the, la the left mouse button and watch what happens. If you are using the view-based interface, it will change where you are looking. Hint, the closer the arrow is to the edge of the screen, faster it'll move. I'll be back in about one minute to tell you about arming yourself and fighting monsters. So, let's look around here. So yeah, I'm in uh, some sort of little cave here, looks like, like it said. And, uh, I'll get out of this for a second. Go on the privateer's level that is 13 to 5. Turtus? <laughs> the fourth. The morning star. The eyes of the law of dang while you are coming to this. Very well. You are healthy. This is good enough. Oh, uh, whatever. How do I. No. Interaction. Before you bury the depths of Parker's Hole, you will want to arm yourself either. Click on the bag icon for you and press F6 to click on the weapon. Press blah blah blah. Yeah, I don't actually want to play this. Oh, you use the little uh, your arrow keys to move around. Mouse to do this. So it says click on some bag. That's it. I'll exit 